Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Steven and welcome back to another Android tutorial. Now today I want to show you how to remove shit and chunk from your Android smartphone. Usually when you buy a very cheap Chinese smartphone it comes with some bloatware pre-installed. And today I want to show you how to easily remove it. So the pro Android users here would probably use the terminal emulator, ADB access from the computer or just titanium with root access to deactivate the apps. But anyway, there's an easier way which is very noob friendly and it doesn't even require root access if you're on KitKat. And today I want to show you how to do it from the computer. So very easy and if you're on Jellybean you have to have root access, but if you're on KitKat you don't have to have root access because it's using some kind of exploit. Okay guys, so basically that's it and I would say let me show you what you have to do in order to disable the system apps and remove all the shit from your China phone or from any other Android smartphone, so let's go. First of all you need to enable USB debugging on the smartphone, so this is the most important step in order to get ADB working. So make sure you access the settings and then you scroll down to the developer options. So make sure you access them and in the developer options you should find USB debugging. So just make sure this is ticked or here just enable. This is really important and make sure that you allow USB debugging. So on this iPhone clone it looks like this, but let's have a look on how it looks on the OnePlus One for instance. So this is the original OnePlus One and we can for instance go here to the settings. Now if you have never played around with the developer options you maybe won't see them in the settings. So let's unlock them first. So to do this go to settings and scroll down to about the phone. In about the phone you will find build number. And now you have to tap exactly 7 times at build number to unlock the developer options. And now you can see no need you already have enabled the developer options or you will see yes congratulations you are a developer. Now you can access here the developer options and here make sure that you enable USB debugging. On some phones like the OnePlus One it's called Android debugging. But this is basically the same thing so just make sure the box here is ticked. And then you will also see allow USB debugging just go to OK. And actually we are now ready to go and now we can go to the computer and download all the necessary software. Alright guys, so we are now on the computer and first of all let me tell you what you have to download. So you will need to deep load the tool which you can find on XDA and the correct ADB drivers for your smartphone. First of all let's start with the deep load the tool. So you can find it on rootchunkiesdownload.com or on xdadevelopers.com and I will leave a download link down below in the description. Just be sure to download the latest Deep Loader setup, which is currently version 3.4. And this tool is really great, it's coded by Gates Jr, so once again big thanks and also to Root Chunky for hosting it. Ok, so basically that's it, what you get is a setup.exe file. So all you have to do is just double click it and install it, so it's an auto installer, just click next, next, next. And then the Deep Loader will be installed on your system. So after the installation you should find the Deep Loader icon here on your desktop. Now the second important thing you need to install on your computer are the correct drivers for your smartphone. So you need the ADB drivers for your corresponding device. For instance if you have an MTK device like I do, so most of the China phones work perfectly with the PDA NAT installer. This is an universal auto driver installer, it installs a lot of ADB drivers and mostly they work. But for instance if you have a Samsung phone then I would recommend to install Samsung keys. If you for instance have an LG phone then just visit LG.com and download the latest drivers. So this is really important because without the correct ADB drivers on your computer this whole tool will not work. So make sure you download the correct ADB drivers if you have an MTK phone be sure to install the PDA net installer and then please reboot your system and this is what I will do right now so just give me a second. Ok guys I have rebooted my system just to make sure the drivers are correctly installed. USB debugging is enabled on the smartphone and actually we're ready to go to start the deep loader tool. Now first of all connect your smartphone to the computer. Then when you have connected it you will maybe get a message on the screen of the device to allow USB debugging. If you can see that make sure you grant access. Otherwise ADB connection will not work and your device is maybe not connected in ADB mode and then the deep loader tool doesn't work. So when it's properly connected just start the deep loader tool press yes here to run it as administrator. You will see here restarting ADB server. And now just wait a couple of seconds and when everything was successful you should get a message here. Now maybe you will see the same message here on the screen. So here it says your device doesn't support block mode. Instead of this it will disable all the packages. But it also gets rid of all the shit so that's pretty good. 
Anyway, um, just keep in mind that you shouldn't disable necessary system applications or applications which are necessary to boot. So make sure you know what you're deactivating. And also, um, if you get a boot loop or something, try to enter the recovery and do a factory reset. And if that doesn't work, you have to reflash it. So make sure you have a backup of your stock ROM. Okay, then just press OK. Maybe you will get this message here several times. And this is how the debloater tool by Gates Jr. looks like. All right, guys. So the first thing you should do is go to the left top corner and press the button read the device. This will give you a list of all APKs and packages which you can find on the smartphone. So this is really everything which is installed on the device. Now here at the bottom you can also see the device state. So here it says root mode and if your device is rooted this should be green. Sync device connected should be green. Here you can also see the serial number, the model number and the battery percentage. And now you can go here through the list and just tick all the applications you want to deactivate. And yeah, as you can see we have here a lot of applications. So first of all... Here we have, for instance, a reboot APK, so this looks like a system application, just use your common sense. If it sounds like a system application, then don't deactivate it. Also, for instance, if the package name um, has MediaTek in the name, then it's something which you need for the MediaTek chipsets to run it and to make sure that Android is working. So please don't deactivate um, things with MediaTek because they are system applications. But for instance, if you have chunky on the smartphone, like um, useless ebook readers, stock apps, some crazy play stores or app stores, then you can easily tick them here and then you can deactivate them. So I will just pick here some applications like iHealth, iLatin or some crap iMemo, King user, um, which I personally wouldn't use. So this is the Chinese super user. If you have it on your smartphone, get rid of it and install SuperSU. Then, yeah, here we also have some more stuff on let's deactivate also the web application. And yeah, for instance, if you can see here media tag in the name, then please don't deactivate it because this is probably an system application, for instance, system update. Just use your common sense, guys. And now to deactivate them, just hit the apply button and then you will see processing changes to and then you will see status now disabled. And that means the APK, so the app is now disabled. And yeah, that works perfectly well on the smartphone here. So this is the um, Wii phone, an iPhone 6 clone, and it comes with a lot of shit from China. So you can easily disable all the things here. And as I've said before, if you have KitKat, you don't even need root access. And also, if you don't know if some application is a system application you need or not, then I would say just Google the package name. And this will give you some information about the package. So just make sure you don't crash your system with this tool. Okay guys, so basically that's it. It's a very nice tool, very easy to use. And I would say now let me disconnect the device and let's have a look on how the device looks now. So as you can see the screen went off, but actually the device shouldn't reboot, so you should be able to unlock it as you normally do. And now you can see a lot of apps are missing and that's really great because I never use the health application, the iMemo application, which is also consuming RAM, but now it's disabled, it doesn't consume RAM anymore. And also it feels a little bit more smooth. So with this tool you can easily disable system applications which you cannot uninstall. And the best thing is you don't need to have root access on KitKat, just on Jellybean you need to have root access. But yeah, as you can see, very easy to use, very noob friendly. Good job to Gates Jr. and all the other people who coded this tool. Okay guys, so yeah, basically that's it. Also you can re-enable the application, so just reconnect it to the computer with USB debugging mode tick the packages you want to re-enable and hit the unblock button. It's so easy to use, so feel free to check it out. The link is down below in the description. And now guys, thank you so much for watching. Just make sure you don't crash your system. Have a nice day. And as always, I hope I see you again in my next videos. Bye bye.